to for us to see uh, the effects of you know what happened and what transpired from those councils. Today in, in Coptic, we are taking the last two letters of the Coptic alphabet. So congratulations, Yanni. By the end of the lesson today, we would have learned all of the letters of the Coptic alphabet. So let us first review um, the letters that we learned so far. Uh, so I'd like to get some volunteers to help us review. And just all you have to do is say the letter name and the pronunciation. Let's see who, Jamie, please do the first uh, slide. Uh, alpha uh, is uh, A or uh, A, yeah, A. Vita or Vita is uh, V, V or B, V, mm -hmm. Val, or, uh, uh, E uh, is E, or like pen, pen. Uh, Zeta, Zeta, like zoo, is uh, zoo or zipper. Good, thank you. Okay, uh, let's see, Dina, you want to do the next one? Dina, go ahead. Me? Yeah. Yes. Your like geek, uh, L, what you said? Like I, like sit. Kappa is like K, like, like the K and like. Uh, May is like the, is M and, and the M in moon. And Nay is like N, like the N in near. Very good. Thank you, Dina. Um, Thomas, you want to do the next one? Um, O is O, Sima is S, Tav is T, and O is OA. Good, Thomas, thank you. Next, uh, Ehab, do you want to do the next one? Sure. Eta is like double E, Rho is like R, and K like K or SH or KH. Good, thank you. Um, Julia, you want to do the next one? Gamma is like an S. It, it looks or, like an S, yes, but how's it pronounced? G or G. Or N, N, yes, or NG if there are two together. Good, next one. Delta, pronounced as a Z, T, H, or D. Good. Lola, pronounced as an L. Very good, thank you. Okay, next, uh, Elora. And the P is pronounced as a P, the Hori is pronounced as an H, and the Jenja is pronounced as a G or a J. Good, thank you. Uh, Mariam Jacob, next one. Uh, shy is pronounced like uh, sh. Mm -hmm. uh, sita is pronounced like f or c. Good. Um, phi uh, is pronounced like f. Yeah, phi, not phi. Phi is the one that looks like a q. Um, the, this is the phi. Yeah. Okay, good. Thank you. Um, Mina, the next one. Uh, MC uh, pronounced like PS, uh, Y, Y pronounced like F and D, sound like D E or or D or D E. Good, thank you, Mina. Uh, Marla. Uh, Sue, so, um, pronounced like it's the number six. So yes. O. Yes. So. Um, XC, uh, like an X. Mm -hmm. Epsilon uh, is complicated. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, if it falls in A or E, it's a V. If it falls in O, it's like a long O. And um, 
e otherwise. Very good. Thank you. I'm glad that you told us the rule of the jinkum. Oh, sorry, the rule of the epsilon. Yes. <clears throat> so the epsilon, um, as Marilla uh, reminded us, it's one of the, uh, it's probably the most complex letter. Um, it, it is a vowel um, and it depends on the letter before it. So if the letter before it is an A or an E, then it's pronounced like a V. If it follows an O, it's an O. Anything else, it is an E. Good. Okay, so <clears throat> this next letter is called Chai. It's called Chai. I, I don't know how to, yeah, I need to, what to tell you what it looks like in English. It doesn't really look like anything familiar in English. Um, chai is pronounced Cha, the, the Cha sound, the Arabic Cha sound. By the way, the Cha is not only in Arabic, but there are many, many languages that have that sound. So Hebrew has it. Um, German has it, Dutch has it, so um, it's, it's the ch sound, <clears throat> like if you say monocheia, right? Everybody likes monocheia, right? Or you say chamsa, like five, right? So here we have the chai, and then the e and the n, so this is chen, chen, like we say je benyot et chen nifi owi, in the name of the father. Chen means with or in, chen. And then the last letter, <clears throat> um, this is not the last letter in the alphabet. So remember, we learned the letters not according to their position in the alphabet, but we learned from the easiest to the, to the, to the most difficult. So this is the last letter that we are learning. It's called Chima, Chima. It, it kind of looks like the number six, right? But a, a good way to remember it, uh, or at least a, this is the way that I was taught when I was young, um, it kind of looks like, you know, if, if, you're look, if, you're, if, if you're looking at a train that's coming at you, it looks like it's the engine of the train with like this smoke coming out of it, right, from the, from the side or from the top. And this is like a choo-choo train, right? So the choo-choo train, okay, like ch -ch, like the choo-choo train, right? So that's how it's pronounced. It's like, it's really like a T-C-H, ch -ch. Um, like this word here. So this is the chima and then O-I-S or O-I-Sima. So this is choice, choice. Um, like we say, ep choice, the Lord, ep choice. Choice means Lord. Okay, so the chai and the chima. So let's, let's practice some words. Um, so let's see. Uh, okay, Dina, you have your hand up. So can you try the first word here? Oh, Dina, you have a question. Do you have a question, Dina? Yeah. The, the word we did before this one, uh -huh. it, had, it had a dash on top of it. And you said a letter with a dash on top of it is a number. Yeah, so this, you're talking about like this here? Yeah. So this is actually not a dash, but this is what the letter actually looks like. So a dash would be on top of it. Like if we go back to uh, where where was the uh, Sue here? So you see the Sue, it's a letter and then there's a separate dash on top of it like that. Oh. Okay, but in this case, the Chima, this is what it looks like. Okay? Okay. Good question, thank you. So, so Dina, since you are still uh, speaking, do you wanna do this first word? Yeah. What's the last one? Yeah, this is the letter we just learned, which is the chai, which is the ch sound. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I didn't remember what it looks like. Can you can you say it? It's Bech, yes. Yeah. Very Bech? good. Bech. It's B ech. B ech or Bech, which means dog. So ich means ghost, P is the, P ech or pich is the ghost. You know, um, the, uh, little kids, um, when, they, when they want to scare them, they say what, they say bech, right? Actually, this is, it's not a very good word to, to play with kids because it means ghost. So yeah, you're scaring them because you're saying ghost. Okay, next one. Um, let's see who hasn't uh, said yet. 
Uh, Rafi, do you want to try this one? All right, let's see. This is the uh, uh, This is the Ha. Uh oh. Bachomius. Yes, very good. Bachomius. Bachomius. Bachomius, which is sent Bachomius. Okay, good. Uh, next, Sue, do you want to try the next one? Shum. Yes, Shum. And, and Ni Sim? Yes. And, and Nisim. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes, yes. Shum and Nisim. Oh, okay. Shum and Nasim uh, literally means the garden of green. Shum and Nasim, which is uh, in Arabic, became what Shem and Nasim, right? Which is the feast of spring. And it's the day after the resurrection feast. So this is Shum and Nasim. Okay, good. Uh, next, uh, Verona. Uh, Oh, hold on. There is the epsilon. Yes. So would that be an E? So it follows an O. It? it follows an O, right? So it would be a long O? Yes. Uh, e... e so this is the ha. You said it right the first time. So, so this is the ha. Ech. Echo. Yes. Echon. Echon. Exactly. Echon. Echon, which means into. Echon. Good. Thank you. Okay. Um, let's see. I think um, Gabby. Gabby, can you try this one? Okay, Gabby's not responding. Uh, Betsy, I think maybe this is the first time you're with us. Um, would you like to try? Yes, the first time. Um, yeah, I'll take a guess. Okay. Um, so this is the, the ha letter that we just learned. Haron, Haron. Yes, yes, good. Haron, Haron. Oh, okay. Good job. Haron, Haron, which means unto us. Okay. Next one. Ah, oh, this is a good one. Let's see who wants to, who wants to to try this one. I think everybody said so. Now raise your hand. Okay, Dina. Go ahead, Habib. Me? Yes, go ahead. Yeah, watch people. P. 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 Good. P. P. This is the L, the Lola, and this is the choo choo train. So it's the ch. Pitalocho. Good, good, very good. Uh, Hebrew. Pitalocho. This this is a little difficult because you have two two consonants here that are difficult to pronounce together. But you got it. Good job. Pitalocho. Pitalocho, which means the healing. Okay. Let's see. Next one. Also another big word. Who wants to tackle it? You have. Go ahead. Maru Chasef. Good. Yes. Maru Chasef. Chef. Maru Chasef. Maru Chasef means let them exalt. We we uh, we hear this 
uh, there is a hymn called Mar Chesf Antiak Ecclesia, we let them exalt him in the congregation of his people, which we uh, chant right before the, the bishop or the patriarch reads the gospel, Mar Chesf. Okay, next one. Next one is easy, it's a small word. Uh, Tom? Achne. Achne, very good, Achne, Achne, which means without. So we took within and we took without. Okay, next one. Hmm. Who wants to volunteer? Jacob? Hi, Jacob. You joined a little bit late. I missed you in the earlier, uh, in, in the beginning. Do you want to try this one? No, thank you. Okay. Gabby? No, thank you. Okay. Sam? Want to try this one? Okay, um, Marella. Um, chi oms. Yes, very good. Chi oms. Chi oms, which means baptized. All right, so. <clears throat> Uh, the two letters that we learned today, we learned chai, which is the KH sound, ch, and we learned chima, which is uh, like a good way to remember it, like I said, like a choo-choo train, and it's like ch, the, the TCH sound. Okay, any questions about the Coptic? Okay, so 